still, we have more power than gliders right now. Oh, there's no do you, question. Do you feel it? Do you do do you feel that when you when you're in the world? Not, not so much up here, but it, it's it's so apparent in in watching, especially local news. You, you know, and you show it night after night, and uh, you know, every time we bring up a a, a crime scene in a big city, and it's a a, 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 a son mayor and a son police chief, and it's like, okay, why? How do you not have the power in that city when it's Democrat run, sons in pow- in all the power positions, most of the city council? It's like, how on earth can you still say that uh, white man is holding you down and holding you back? It's, it's ridiculous. Mm. Now, Doug, have you ever had a, a, a close encounter with the third, with the Negro kind <laughs> I, I've had a few. In fact, um, my my first uh, experience of a son shooting was in my parking lot. Um, there was a, a bar next door to my business that was a gay bar, whatever. It um, The owner sold to a new uh, outfit and they started a jazz club. Cool, jazz. That's right on. That coincides kind of with what I do. So they weren't making any money, as most jazz clubs don't. And it became a hip hop bar. So of course the, it was almost entirely sun. And I went to the owners and, and the managers and I said, look, cause my parking lot's right against their building. And I said, you, I'm cool with you guys using my parking lot after hours, but here's some rules I'm going to lay on you. You cannot let people hang around after the bar is closed. You got to kick them the hell out. I said, and, and, and don't leave trash. Those are my two rules. And oh, so I God. used to, I used to hang out at my store working late at night um, to and, and kind of observe how they were handling that. And of course, one night, this uh, couple sun women start getting into an argument, turns into a screaming match. They walk right out into the a main road downtown Anchorage, a main road completely blocked by a sun mob, and it works its way back into my parking lot. And then I see this little little sun man get involved and he starts yelling. And then this huge, huge sun man that was at least a foot and a half taller than this little guy, they're yelling back and forth. And the big guy, he uh he starts to walk away. And I go, Oh, well, yeah, he could pulverize this guy. He's you know, that's the end of it. He comes back with an even bigger sun man against this little guy. And and there it's like it's getting louder and louder. And I see, you know, this kind of, it's almost like the people swarm to the center, like a swirling uh, school of fish. Mm-hmm. So I, I had locked my door of my store. So I grabbed my keys and I'm kind of shaking because it's, I'm, it's like, I'm feeling a little nervous now, right? Cause it's getting loud and it's, it's now a full blown brawl. The energy, and, the energy of the, yes. the, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and we're talking, this brawl is maybe 30 feet to my left. And all of a sudden, I see out of the corner of my eye that entire mob of people sprint in all directions. And I knew what was coming. And I'm like shaking so crazy, I can't even get my key into the lock of my door. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, fuck me. And I look over and I see a guy running right towards me. But this little guy, it wasn't the same little guy that I saw earlier, but it was another little sun man. He's got a freaking pistol in his hand that's half the length of his arm and he's running right towards me because there's a corvette parked in front of my main entryway and he grabs a hold of the door handle and whoever's sitting in that car which i didn't even see i hear him say to the guy and he looks the guy with the guns looking in my face five feet from me just kind of like what the hell are you doing here you know and the guy in the car says go around so the guy he looks around and then he looks at me again and then the car and he go around the corner and I'm like, that's fucking it. I'm done. And uh, thankfully, it, uh, it that business shut down within a week. And um, then it became Grand a gay open, bar. Ran close. Yeah, it became a gay bar again. And I'm like, shit, bring on the gays. At least they weren't shooting in my parking lot. Yeah, that's crazy how like you 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 would rather be around a bunch of fucking flamers in yep. a bunch of sons. Fact. So, uh, you know, and back in the day, 
when when I would hear about crimes, including I had uh, employees at one of my stores held up at gunpoint one night, and it never occurred to me to ask the race of the people that did it at the time. What you did know, you think the race was? Do you just were you just didn't know? I just assumed it could have been anybody. I, I fr frankly, because of the population, uh, such a high uh, uh, glider mm -hmm. population, I assumed they were gliders. Um, yeah. It turns out they weren't, but that was my assumption, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. See this this story right here. Um, 